Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I'm going to try to rerun some of the benchmarks that I did for Fedora. I had to do this last time, and, I, and I'm, uh, yes, this was my fault. So I went and reran the benchmarks on hardware, and we're going to go over those today, talk a little bit about what I saw. And, uh, and, and so why don't we just go ahead and get started with that? However, before going into the video, I'd like to take the, a moment and thank my Patreon sponsors and also my YouTube members that have joined the channel to help support what you're seeing. I really appreciate what you folks do. And all right, let's take a look at the benchmark. So I wanted to stop here for a minute and talk about the disk first, just a second. All of the tests were done on hardware. This is a, uh, it is a Lenovo X1 uh, Extreme. It's a Core i9. It was, I purchased it, I think, in November of 2019. So it's, ex it's exactly four years old. The test, I tried to do all of these with the I.O. scheduler set to none. However, on the Mac Mini, which is up here on the M1, I was not able to set it. Apparently, uh, that space is set to protect it, and it won't allow me to make any modifications to that area. So trying to change the I.O. scheduler, it just said permission denied. You will notice, however, the, the, the compress indicates that this is ButterFS. Uh, and uh, yeah, so the, the two Fedoras are ButterFS. The, the Debian and Ubuntu are their default op file systems, which are EXT4. Uh, the block, the only difference between Debian and is this Air Remount is the only difference between the settings and I left everything default as it would be if you installed it right off of the ISO. So let's let's go down and take a look. There's uh, uh, there's two measurements for each test. There's a total of four tests and two measurements for each. One is for megabytes or mibibytes per second, and the other one is for IOPS. So all right, so let's take a look at this is random reads. You'll notice that, okay, this, let's see if I can, this N1 right here is equal to three. That's the number of times that it had to run the file test. Remember, I, I think I've said this before that if there's a large variance between each run, uh, Pharonix will call for another run in order to try to smooth out that so that the averages the plotting points are closer to are clustered closer together, uh, and that just helps make sure that you're you don't have outliers like something in the operating system was writing to the drive at the same time that could throw off you know the results. So, uh, uh, yeah, one thing that's interesting and you'll notice on all of these tests, Ubuntu never needed another run. It was always n equal three. Fedora was using this same drive, and and also Debian was using this same drive. So, yeah, you'll know <laughs> definitely differences here that's going on between the 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 calculated file. But in this case, all three of them, all, all four of the tests, took three tries to get a clustered uh, is result. The next one is IOP. Uh, the others uh, are a little bit slower. And then you have the random writes. Um, this is going to be half, about half the speed because the drive is about half the speed. So, yeah, this makes sense. Uh, plus, you have the overhead of, of uh, ButterFS copy on write. So, Debian does better in this particular test. And you'll notice, though, that N equal 15. So, this is one of those occasions where the Pharonix couldn't find a, a good cluster of values that it would say, okay, I've got all the data I need. So it ran it out to a total of 15. On the random right, uh, obviously these two are going to be slower than these. But Fedora does, uh, excuse me, Debian does quite well here on this one. And then uh, the sequential reads... 
it's, uh, you know, Ubuntu is doing quite well. Again, notice all of them took only three tries to get this one. This one only took three tries. And then we get down here to the sequential writes. And this is where, this is where there's a lot of variation in the results. And so uh, apparently on Debian and on the Mac Mini, it did call for the maximum 15. And then sequential writes, it, the Mac Mini, the Debian, but not this one, which is interesting because uh, one thing I noticed is that I had run this previously with the the the, the default is your CPA, CPU performance is set to balanced. So I changed it for this test to performance. If it was on balanced, I noticed that this was going up to 15, uh, whereas on performance, it stays at three. All of these, by the way, these are all set to performance, Ubuntu, Debian, and Fedora hardware. So these three that were tested on the laptop. So let's take a look at the harmonic mean. And Debian squeaks out a, a, a win for the MIBI bytes uh, per second. And then on IOPS, it squeaks out a win over Ubuntu. And this is running on hardware. So that's a reversal from the, the results that I got on the last test. So it does make a difference, and if you go back and look, you'll notice that the IOPS and the MIBI bytes are significantly higher, and we're going to talk about that at the end today of what I found. All tests, uh, yeah, Ubuntu seems to do better as an all-rounder. I don't know why they picked that, but I guess if you combine the MIBI bytes and the IOPS tests, Ubuntu kind of and it is very close, though, as you can see. Uh, yeah, there's a severe penalty here, which is odd because this drive operates at half the speed of this one anyway for writes. So it's interesting that that's almost, almost, not quite, maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, it's, it's almost 50% of it. As far as the eight tests, four and four, it's a it's a tie according to this and then for last place yeah the two fedoras just so that's that's the result you saw the benchmarks you saw them on hardware i just reran fio it shouldn't yeah it might have effect on some of them like dbench and so forth but uh i don't really think that it's appreciable to worry about that all that much personally uh you know the uh most of the benchmark time is spent in FIO. So IO is important to any operating system and how well it handles it will is the baseline for how well everything else runs. And it's it's funny people they don't I don't think they realize that if if you're choosing something that is slowing down your IO, you're impacting everything your system does. Because there are there are files that are being read and written. The application itself is a read coming off of the file system. Uh, sometimes you have to store pages back onto that file system. Sometimes there are error messages that are being logged that's going out to the file system as well. So yeah, your file system determines has a, has a pretty large chunk in determining how fast your machine and what your experience is overall. I mean, I, I have a I have a uh, an NVMe RAID here that's acting up, and while I'm doing I'm doing uh, uh, video editing, that's when I'm using that RAID, and uh, it's causing problems. It's causing stutters. It's causing IOs to block, and so I end up sitting waiting for the damn drive to clear. So yeah, it it's problematic, and, and there's. Uh, it's got hardware errors in it, so it's time to replace it, I think. I think, but I.O. can really determine your experience. So, anyway, that's all I had for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please share, and hope to see you in the next video.